Well, hi everybody. I'm Vicki and welcome to my kitchen. You know, I'm having a good time um, in here today. I am cooking up a storm and I thought I would share with you my edible breakfast bowl. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Um, I, am, I start with low carb tortillas and fill them with good things like one, I'm going to do a salmon croquette and make a salmon and eggs edible bowl. And you can eat this any time of day. Um, I like to take it to the store for breakfast. And then you could put sausage in one or bacon in one and eggs. Um, I'm going to do one of each. And let me know if you try it and if you like it. So I've got my new handy dandy little induction stove top so that I can work right here in front of you. So let's go ahead and start with making the eggs. And I've got two eggs in the whipped cream maker already. I'm going to go ahead and put a third because I need some egg for an egg wash on the outside of the tortilla. You'll see why later. The whipped cream maker makes your eggs so fluffy. And that's how quick. I'm going to go ahead and put the salt and pepper in the um, frying pan instead of in the whipped cream maker. Because I don't think I want the salt and pepper on the outside of the tortilla. So I'm going to turn this on. With a pat of butter and I'm going to leave some of the egg to wash the tortilla and you'll see why. Okay, do you hear that little beep? I've got the whipped sous vide going with some chicken in it for one of my recipes for today. And it likes to sing to me and make little noises, so I know it's working good. Let's put a little salt and pepper in our eggs. And I'm only going to soft scramble the eggs. I'm not going to do them very hard, and I'll show you. And you'll see why. Let's see. Because when we bake the edible breakfast bowl, then the eggs will cook a little bit more. So I don't want them cooked real hard. That's enough. See how soft they are? That's all I want them cooked. Now I'm going to take a tortilla. I'm going to take two different tortillas. Probably my favorite one is the tomato and basil, but I'm out of it. So I've got a plain tortilla, and these are keto low carb. And I've got a spinach and herb tortilla. So I think I'm going to use the spinach and herb on the salmon. And I'll use the plain tortilla on the um, sausage and egg. So we're just going to take the egg wash, I mean the egg, and wash the tortilla on both sides, inside and out. The egg wash works kind of like a glue because we're going to put some everything bagel seasoning on the outside of it. But you could put 
just some sea salt or you could put a little bit of um, garlic and herb, whatever you like. Okay, let's do the other one. Let's start with the salmon croquette. Now, I think you watched me do the video on salmon croquette, probably. Um, this is the salmon croquette. It's a leftover from poached salmon that I made. And I'm gonna go ahead and shred some cheese for both of them. In the dishwasher. Okay. Did I tell y'all welcome? I'm not sure if I did or not. I love having people in my kitchen. Yesterday I had visitors who brought me a surprise. Um, thank you, Deb and Ann. Brought me chocolate covered strawberries covered in sugar free chocolate. So, and we had a nice visit. Don't use pre shredded cheese, shred your own. It's so easy. Okay, I'm gonna put, let's see, I think I want to put a little dollop of cream cheese on this one. I'm going to finish it off on the top with cheddar or Colby Jack, whatever. What was I? Colby Jack. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of our eggs. Let's move our cheese. And we're going to bring tortilla up and around. Up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around. Okay, so that's how it's going to come together. I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on the top. This does get messy with your hands. biscuit rings. And this is how I hold the top together. At least for the first five minutes of cooking it. Then I'll stuff it a little bit more. Let's do some sausage. You know, sometimes I just don't have everything right here wet it ready. Okay, we've got that. Now we're gonna put a little a Kobe Jack cheese on this one on the inside. We put our egg. This one up. See how I'm just kind of bending it around, making it a bowl. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just 
what's holding it together. Now, let me wash my hands off. Now, another reason for wanting the egg wash on the outside is I want to put some everything bagel seasoning on it. I'll put a little bit on the top. And then the egg wash will actually help this stick. Let's put a little bit on it and then we'll put the rings on. So it'll be covered all over. Now I put the ring on. And I'll just dab some on the bottom. That helps in the crisping up on the bottom. Okay, let's do this one. Like I said, the egg just kind of helps hold everything together and it helps hold the everything bagel seasoning on it. So we have two ready. And I'm going to put just a little more cheese in the center. And you'll see how pretty they are when they come out. We'll take the rings off about halfway through. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer. While we're waiting, I'll tell you how I came up with this. I usually go to the store about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I don't like to eat breakfast until about 10 or 10.30 in the morning. So I really love breakfast. I like it any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, or supper. So the night before, a lot of times I will make this edible breakfast bowl and I just use whatever's left over. Um, sometimes I've got some bacon, sometimes it's sausage, sometimes it's salmon. Um, I've used steak in it before and I always use cheese and egg and it really sustains me through a lot of the day because it's a lot of protein um, and it is low carb. and. I've been sharing it with some other people and they were just over the moon about it. So I thought I'd share it with you today and it's almost ready to come out of the oven. Look at these things. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're nice and they're crisp. They're nice and crispy. I forgot to tell you one thing. All the bottom of the stone so that they will crisp up on the bottom. See both of them? Nice and crisp on the bottom. Now, what I do is I let these cool all the way and then I take a piece of foil. And the reason I let them cool all the way is I want them to stay crisp. So I don't want the, the heat making them soggy. Um, so I will leave them on the pan and let them, let them cool. And then I'll put them in the center and just bring the foil around like this. Leave it loose. And then I'm ready to take my edible breakfast bowl to the store with me. Or just put it on the plate and enjoy it. <laughs> All right, I'll cut into it and I'll leave a picture so you'll see what it looks like once it cools. And remember, we did two this time, and you can make your edible breakfast bowl however you want it. Um, you could fill it with whatever you want. Um, but it's cool, it's nice to carry. Um, and it's delicious. So especially for those of us that do keto low carb, this is great, this is all protein. Um, with a little bit of fiber on the 
the tortilla. So come back to see me. Let me know if you make this. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching me from. You know, I've gotten to where I really love seeing the comments from all over the country. So leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching me from. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll be glad to respond to you. And if you have something you'd like to see me cook, I'd be up for that. So as long as it's a reasonable request. Um, remember, anything you've seen me use today is Pamper Chef. And you can always find it on the link on my YouTube channel in the description. Or if you're watching from TV, it's kind of hard to to see the description. If you're looking at it from your phone, you can see it. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, Vicki Shaw Hughes, Pamper Chef Consultant, there's always a link to my Pamper Chef store. So, and there's a lot of recipes and it's easy to see the recipes on the Facebook page. So go like my Facebook page too. You hear the sous vide? <laughs> I love hearing that little dee 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 dee. So that tells me it's working, and I'll have chicken ready shortly. Um, that is cooking in the new multi-cooker that is taking the place of our older quick cooker, which was the pressure cooker, but the new cooker will do so much more. Um, have a wonderful day. Give somebody your beautiful smile. Makes you feel good inside, warms your heart. And you know, you just could make their day. See you later. <laughs> and yes, I do eat what I cook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Bye again.